Uh, I'm back and welcome to part 2 of this ACS series where I'm playing on Tribulation 9 which is the hardest difficulty and I'm using three body cultivators in order to beat the Day 80 invasion and I'm also going off of the body cultivation resource kind of just to get an idea of what I should do and just to refresh my memory on how to get these body cultivators strong enough to beat the invasion within that amount of time but I'm also throwing my own spin on things and trying to find out different optimizations while also showcasing those optimizations to you guys so yeah let's get into it in the last video I promoted my body cultivators and then pretty much had them remold their head muscles so that it can level up so that I can get some ESP in order to get these guys to the next cultivation stage and I actually want to get these guys to the next two cultivation stages so I want them to be in the incubation stage which is basically the golden core stage for these guys and I don't want to go into the chaos phase because if a body cultivator is in the chaos phase and then they reach full ESP which is really easy to do then they have to face a lot of tribulations and that's not what I want so yeah I'm just going to use my I'm going to use my head muscles in order to get them to the incubation phase and I can show you guys why we use the head muscles here so right here we have the head muscles and they are level 46 body part so when you have a body part the amount and when you have a body part the amount of ESP that you get for each label that you select is dependent on the level of the body part so that's why you use the head muscles and then on top of that the higher level the body part is the more stamina it costs to remote it and the more essence it costs to actually um remote it as well i was trying to think about like what do i call it i guess yeah the essence that it costs essence and stamina to remote and the price increases based on the level so that's why you want to remote the head muscles because that's something that you probably will not be using for any of your body cultivators so it's just out the way and it's just there just to serve that one purpose is to let you level up so i can show you guys what it looks like when a body part is like level one compared to when a body part is level 40 something so if I go to body cultivator 2 this one right here is still didn't remote their thigh muscles and it's level 1 so if I do this then I can select the label for the muscle and then as you can see my body cultivator got 11 experience only and then if I do this again this one is also level 1 I'm just selecting tempered flesh they got 11 experience again so now on the other hand if I remote the head muscle, which right here is level 46 for this body cultivator, then I select one mode, remote, then I get 2,000 experience. So that's a really big difference, and that's pretty much how you would level up your body cultivators. So the main problem with using this method is that once you start selecting the remote effects for the body cultivator, you can't just close out this UI without leaving the game so there's no way for me to just like exit out of this so what you have to do and then if i so then that means that i'm forced to continue to remote until i run out of remotes so i would be forced to do this 46 times and i wouldn't be able to get to the next cultivation stage because i wouldn't be accumulating any esp so the way to circumvent this is to just like continuously press escape until this menu shows up and then if you're on like vanilla then you could save and then load but I'm on Immortal mode, so I have to save and return, which is a little bit annoying, but it's worth it. So I'm going to use this method in order to get all three of my body cultivators up to the breakthrough point. So I just did that on body cultivator 1, I mean body cultivator 2. So I'm going to do the same thing on body cultivator 1 and 3. And then I'm going to get all of these guys up to that level. So now it's body cultivators one turn. It's really important that you have that cultivation menu up just so that you can see when they're ready for the breakthrough. So again, 2000 experience, 2000 experience. Now they're ready. And then I just save and return. And then I just have to do this one more time and then I have to do it again for all three of the body cultivators so that I can get them to the incubation phase. And then that just leaves me a little bit of time in between to do some other extra things since I'll just be waiting for them to get through their breakthrough. So now we're on body cultivator two. 
head muscles. This one is over 45. So I didn't get 2,100. That time I just got like 2,030 something, which is the reflection of the level. So now that that's done, I have all of my body cultivators ready to do their breakthrough. Let me just create a saves come as well. Yeah, just rename this. Give me one second, one second, one second. Clicking files is hard. All right, so I did that. Now it's time to break through on these guys. So I'm going to do breakthrough. Breakthrough. And then yet another breakthrough. So while these guys are breaking through, I also do want to start to build out this cultivation array just because it's pretty bare bones and you need, well, the body cultivator gets essences based on the strength of the cultivation array and you would need the chi to be all the way up to 2000 in order, in order to get this maximum bonus from chi. So that's pretty much what I'm looking for is a 2000 bonus from the chi. So I do want to make it on the ground just so that I have enough room to build pasture on the array as well so that I can get more intrinsic life essence passively so I'm just going to use my snake just because they have really quick movement speed and uh, let me set them to do no jobs and then just move them over here so that I know where their items are okay they're hauling right now I need you to travel thank you they're super quick. So hopefully I'll be able to build this array by the time these guys get done their breakthroughs. So I'm going to pick up Sisbury Wood. And then move the snake over here. And I'm also doing this just to save on materials and just time to build in general. And then I also don't want anyone moving these items while I'm trying to make this array so I'm just going to disable peon job temporarily just so that I don't have to like drop them and then ban them and drop them and ban them over and over again that can get a little bit annoying for me and I think that I can do this in a pretty quick way so spirit wood is typically um, placed at range 4 so I'll just keep it like that let's try my best to put the spirit wood at range 4 I wonder if I drop this down here will it go here nope it didn't I could try to do some tic-tac-toe gymnastics as well, but I'm just going to drop it down in areas where my snake has access to. So that was a mistake on my end. I built those graves a little bit too close to where I wanted the array to be. So it's like a little bit more difficult for me to actually drop those spirit wood down on those specific spots right under the graves. But you know, live and learn. So I'm almost done with the range 4 setup. I just have a couple more to go. Let's pick up 6 more. This snake is super useful right now. Oh, I did 5. Sits, I say sits. Let's drop this down. And then I don't know how I'm going to hit those spots, but I could try a couple of different things. So usually like when you drop items, they kind of shift to the left. And I just know that just from playing the game so much. So I'm going to try to move this tic-tac-toe and just like clutter this area so that the spirit will, will like drop down and then go leftward. And then hopefully it will just land here as the only spot. So let's see. Oh, they went to the right. So if that's going to the right, then let's let me try to fill up these spots over here all the way on the right side. See what happens if I do that. There we go. Got the spare wood on that left side. Now I can remove these tic tac toes. And then is this someone's grave or no? Okay, yeah, I already have this guy assigned to be put in his grave. Put in the grave. And then I have to do the same thing with this left side. 
So let me just try with just one tic-tac-toe because I believe that it will go down and then go left over to that one tile. Okay, that worked out perfectly. So now I just have to do the burst nodes. Right now, this building is a little bit cluttered and I'm using three cushions so I can't do burst nodes on like range five here. So I think I just wanna burst the top and the bottom side, especially just because I'm using body cultivators so they don't even need that much chi. So I, there's, there's really no reason for me to do like a full, like perfect burst setup. So let me just set that up. So I'm just gonna do a. I'm gonna do an eight note burst, but I'm gonna do it in like a very weird way. So I just want it to be like three here. And then I want to do three at the bottom of as well. And I will need to expand this building out by one tile just because it really does annoy me when I can't see the spirit wood properly. So I can show you what these bursts look like. So if I go to this blueprint right here, and I go to, let's see, I have a blueprint for the burst range. So this is a range four burst. So right here, the spirit wood at this spot will burst the tiles directly over the cushions if you can see that correctly as long as it doesn't touch the cushions then we're good so it, standardly you would have a burst node like at range five so like for example like right here and that would touch this cushion so that would ruin it so on this side I would need to have a burst node like here in order to cover these sides so maybe I'll just do something like that so if I do a burst like here and then a burst here like to the right of these graves then that should satisfy the full eight node burst then of course the bottom nodes are only bursting the tiles under the body cultivator if I do burst them so let me just add those final two burst nodes and as you can see I was able to get all of that done well before my body cultivators were even able to finish their breakthrough which is super nice I want to fill in this with some better range 3 items so I don't think I'm going to do anything but the range 3 range right now. I'm just going to leave that alone and then of course I need to re-equip those items that I had on the snake earlier and then turn peon work back on. And then besides that I do want to have this guy fix this building or at least elongate it. So let's demolish everything over here and expand it so that I have more room to actually see when I'm bursting. There we go. Oops, I added two doors. There we go. So hopefully this guy will mainly work on that. Now, I just also need to make sure that my disciples are good on food. Let's see. They have a lot of lotus root, but they don't have anything else. So let me just make sure I get this amber fruit also. And continue that. All right, we have 32 amber fruit. Wow, that's a lot. I didn't expect that much to even show up. So I'll start by having these guys equipped. There is five guys. And I believe they each have three slots. Yeah. So that's going to consume 15. And then I'm just going to have a little bit left over that will probably decay. That's cool though. As long as these guys work. And then honestly, I just did a lot of work, so I would be really sad if these guys actually failed some of these breakthroughs. So let me actually save scum that, just because that would really make me mad. Because <laughs> placing down that array is it's worth it, but it definitely gets tired after a while.
So I'm like, uh, let's not do that. So let's see. Level 6. Array built. I think it was actually on level 7. I mean, day 7, not level 6. Hmm. I'll just do marrow breakthrough. I cannot spell. And we're waiting for the game to load. Yeah, this is day seven, sis. I don't know why I said day six. Sometimes the game just does that. Let's add this wall back. Okay. Okay, everyone got through the breakthrough, so I was just scared for no reason. All right, so now that they got through the breakthrough, it's time to do the same thing. And I'm pausing my game instantly because you just want to be efficient with body cultivators. Just because we only have 80 days to prepare for the day 80 invasion, which is really powerful. So you just want to maximize your time everywhere. At least up until the initial starts, be initial parts before you start to just breathe for an extended duration to collect essences. And then once you start to remote again, you also want to start to get very optimal with that. So I'm just waiting for this guy to get all of their ESP. Let's keep on leveling them up. But this is good though. I was able to create the array before these guys got done to break through. But yeah, body code variables are so overpowered because of that though, because they can just get through those breakthroughs super quick and you just basically have a golden core cultivator like just like that. One, two, three. Remote the head muscles, level day six, golden core. It's kind of funny that that still isn't as quick as you could get a golden quarter on a Shandow Disciple though. Shout out to Shandow. That's my favorite cultivation style. And since we're here, I think I will just burst these nodes just to start a chi burst, honestly. So let me just wait a little bit. Because if you save and reload your game, then the game will forget that you bursted the nodes. So I can just burst the nodes, save and reload, and just continue, continuously increase the chi of this tile. All the way up to 2,500. So, again, the same thing. Just getting this guy to the bottleneck. I'm kind of silly. I should have did the automated. No, because if I did the automated feature, then that would make it so that they just remote all of the labels. And I still want to keep labels just in case I want to get to the next cultivation level after that as well. But there is a way to automatically select labels. Let's just do one more for comfort. Save and return. And then we just have one more body code here to go. Body code delivery digital three. Are you ready? That was such a tongue twister for me. <laughs> ah, I meant to say body code evader three. Are you ready? I need to get my articulation abilities up. Let's go. And body code evader three is finally at peak marrow. <laughs> I'm like, we're almost there, almost there. Uh, body cultivation is super tedious, honestly. But it is fun. I, I think, I would say that training a body cultivator is like tedious and can get be annoying, but like, fi like the combat with them is really nice. So, let's just do seven. I'll do like XYZ so that my save files are ordered in uh, alphabetical order. Then... I'll do incubation, breakthrough. Just gonna make them long and descriptive. So I'm like day seven S, day seven Y, day seven Z. Usually I don't make more than three save files for just one day. 
So now it's time to do these breakthroughs so that they can get to the incubation stage. By the way, when my body cultivators were at the first stage, they didn't have their bones unlocked. They just had the muscles unlocked. I don't know if you guys remember, which are flesh. And me getting them to the marrow cleansing phase was is what unlocked the thigh bones for these guys. And then once you get to the incubation phase, you actually unlock the organs. So that's why it's very important to get to the incubation phase just because you want to be able to remote the organs since the organs provide massive bonuses to like breathing and remoting and etc. Ah, and it looks like I messed up on my clicking. I had a feeling that I did that, but I think that it should be good. Like their breakthrough success chance is still relatively high. So yeah, we're just going to get these guys to the incubation phase. And hopefully they all pass. Let me just make sure that these guys are, they have good jobs assigned to them. I have a lot of spirit wood that I could collect as well. Let me just try to click some spirit wood. Pine tree. I don't want to break down any ginkgo trees because I do want to use the ginkgo fruit for later and I'll show you guys what that looks like later on. So I'm just going to try to focus on chopping down the poplar trees and the other one that I just looked at, the pine tree, since they don't bear any fruit. Alright, so my body cultivators are now at the incubation phase and as you can see right here, I now have access to all of the organs and I'll be able to show you guys what it looks like and what organs you'll need to remote in the next video. But as far as that goes, I think that I'm in a really good spot for my body cultivators. I have like 400 chi on the tile which is understandable because my spirit wood, my ray just has spirit wood and it doesn't even have all of them and my body coat of air is at incubation phase and now I have all of my disciples creating these different farms so that I can hopefully be able to generate just like a lot of food and an infinite amount so that I don't have to like continuously kill animals and then shuttle between Nanpang village for food so yeah I think I'm gonna end this video here as I said in my last video I'm trying to get these videos down to like a very short time and just be better with the timing so um, I'll see you guys in the next video and I hope you enjoyed watching this and I hope you learned something and thank you for watching as always later